Yeah, dude, there have been times like I, I got a dinnerly order, and I ended up throwing out the last meal because I just didn't cook it in time. I just, just got either got lazy or I got too busy. Like you said, I was working so I was skipping meals. Um, because I I work through lunch every single day. I don't eat lunch. Typically, I'll eat something. There's another question on here. What's your eating schedule? So go to that one. Next, that one next. What's your eating schedule? So that's the next question. Okay. Um, eating schedule is I you know I eat when I'm hungry, right? I cook when I'm hungry, and I think that's the best way to do it. The whole three meal structure to me is complete bullshit. You think I th- it's flawed? I think it's very flawed. I think it's completely made up. Um, well, if we're talking, if we're talking, you know, like realistically, like how we were actually supposed to eat as humans, it should be five small meals a day. What do they call that? The the paleo? There's so many different diets. Paleo? I I it's I forget. It's like the paleo diet or something. Paleo, paleo, paleo. But it's it's probably the best way to eat is you eat when you're hungry, right? It sounds so simple. It sounds so basic. But we are creatures of habit, though. Well, here's the thing. I understand the three meal structure because it just it just makes sense. Also, because it makes even more sense if you have kids, right? It makes it makes it, a lot it, more sense. It makes if you have life kids. so much easier. You wake up, kids need to eat something in the morning. Breakfast is the most important <laughs> meal for a kid. You're like, listen, kid. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not doing. <laughs> we're not doing it the way I do it. When you get hungry, you're gonna yeah. eat at these three different times. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, it's just like it's just so you can. It's so you can plan. Like for me, I live alone. I'm legally single. I can eat and do whatever I want. I love how you just made that distinction. Legally single. Yeah, I'm <laughs> legally single. So when you have kids, when you have kids, I love that. I'm gonna start saying that, man. That's yeah, a good but legally one. single is a great phrase. It's you're a like, great term. Like just in case. Uh, my girl is tuned oh, in. Oh, she tunes into everything. Yeah. Although, although she doesn't listen to my wrestling podcast, which is where I get to talk shit, so it's pretty fun. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> but yeah, legally single, so I can eat whenever I want. But when you have kids, you know, you got to feed them, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so it's good. Yeah, like, yeah I, think, I think that's important. And they're very, that. they're very bad at telling you when they're hungry. So you got to have well, what kind of What kind of kids we're talking about? Are we talking the babies? Bo- both, all kids. Because I feel like kids, they're very, very talented at telling you they're hungry. Like, annoyingly so. I, I, I guess. I mean, if, if it's, it's only when I'm you hungry. can't feed them. Only when you can't feed them. Like, you're, you're in a car ride in Nebraska and there's no gas station for miles. And that's when, they, that's when they're hungry. That is when they get hungry. That's when they're hungry. You go, you should have eaten your breakfast. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. It's the, 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 I, eat, I eat when I'm hungry. The female structure, I think, is bullshit. Mostly, I'll eat one giant meal at the end of the day um, and maybe something small in the morning like a bowl of cereal, bagel, um, a few eggs, what have you. And then, because I, you know, I work through the day. I'm working with Jill throughout the day. We work straight through lunch and I can't really eat while I'm streaming live. Right. <laughs> it's kind of difficult. Right. But yeah, I, I eat when I'm hungry and it works and I think I'm relatively healthy. Um, I keep my dietary restrictions and it, I, I fasting. Fasting is big to me. I also believe you should do all of your eating in an eight hour window. There, That's another name of a particular, uh, that's called intermittent. In, in, intermittent in, fasting. Yeah, intermittent fasting. I definitely believe in intermittent fasting and you should not eat after, like after eight o'clock, I try not to eat because that's how you, that's how you gain weight and how you get fat. Whereas, like, if you eat something at, like, 11 o'clock at night and then go to bed, like, your stomach is digesting in the middle of the night, and it's just, like, you just, it's just very bad for you. Because most of your digestion should be done when you're awake. Definitely. I think. I'm not a nutritionist. Don't quote me on that. Definitely. Uh, my eating habits, I'd love to say that I eat when I'm hungry, but I don't. I I have a bad habit of no ignoring when my stomach starts rumbling because I'm mm. I get very into my work. Me too. And yeah. hours will go by. And I will eat once the freight train hits me. Mm-hmm. And it's like borderline this is terrible. I'm you know, this is going out there. It's like, oh this guy, he has a problem. Um I'm sometimes it's like not every day, but some days when I get really caught up in my work, I'll be like lethargic and it's like I'm like, I don't even have enough energy to cook. <laughs> That's when that's when uh, sometimes I eat. But I'd say I'm good with breakfast. 
and I'm good with dinner. It's usually lunch that gets mm. that gets skipped mm-hmm. in general. Are you a snacker? Do you snack? I'm not a snacker. I am also not a snacker. I mean, the closest thing for snacks for me is like if I'm in a, stu- a recording studio session and I didn't eat and I know it's going to be a long one, sometimes I'll like have some pretzels or something. Yeah. Yeah. They, they serve a purpose. Like, I only snack at parties. Like, if I'm at a family party, it's a bowl of Doritos. I'll eat a shit ton of those Doritos. A bowl of ruffles with some French onion dip. Ugh, the best. My uh, my ex-girlfriend used to get pissed off at me because I wasn't a snacker. Because you go into a store and she'd pick up, like, all the all the goodies. And yeah. I, she's like, you want anything? And I'm like, no. no. She's like, why not? And I'm like, I eat, f- I, I like food. Like, I don't. <laughs> I don't I don't want some sun chips or like yeah. Some, yeah I don't I like food I don't like you know what I'm saying like, this, I, this is just food. mouth pleasure you just want to chew on something I mean some people like junk food snacks yeah like but, not that they eat them all the time some people like healthy snacks too like or I, like snacks in general like I, I just like I'll it's for, for what although every now and every now and then I'll walk into CBS or Trader not Trader Joe's I live next to a King's a King's supermarket uh, and I'll just get that box of plantain chips, and they're salted, and they're delicious, and I'll eat the, pretty much the whole thing in two and a half days. It's gone. It's a pretty big box, too. Delicious. Mm. If I am snacking, every now and then I'll get some Nilla wafers. I love Nilla wafers. Like, I do have my go-to snacks, but I buy them very, very rarely because it's a waste of money, and it's a waste of food, and it's just like it's not, they're not good for you like at all. Right. So, yeah. Let's, this is, uh, this is making me hungry. I'm going to have to stop and get food after this. Yeah, and the thing is, while we're talking about this, I had not, I have not eaten today. Yeah, I've, I've I haven't been, eaten I've since been, noon. I didn't eat today at all. I've been working since this morning. Um, situation where I had thought the session was an hour later than it was. Yeah, that's my bad. Oh, no, no, not this one. Oh, not this one. It's no, er, one earlier. All right. And um, I was like, oh, I started scrambling and I didn't eat. So, I, I'm actually just living on coffee right now. See, I also, I also don't drink coffee. I do yeah. not drink. Can you believe that? I don't drink coffee. Oh, my God. If you did? If you did? If I did, it might be a problem. It's like, I got all this I got all this pent-up aggression and energy and rage in my life. Um, but I don't drink coffee. I'll, I'll, sip, I'll sip Jazz's coffee. Every time she gets a coffee, I have some sips to see if I like it. And, like, six times out of ten, I don't like it. Yeah, I mean, Coffee, have, coffee's a waste of money. To you me. have to like the taste of coffee. Yeah. Personally, I cannot call myself, pride myself as a coffee, a real coffee person yeah. because I like I've been negatively conditioned by places like Starbucks who mm-hmm. put an obscene amount of sugar. Mm-hmm. I could say when I was younger, I'd probably drink coffee that tastes like coffee. Now it's coffee candy. Although I, I, I will say. Anytime I go to a diner, I don't care what time of day it is, I get a coffee. Why? It's because it's just, it's just what I do. It's it does it taste differently or dude I don't know or it's is like, it just like you you obsessed over over old movies with like detectives and I don't know dude. <laughs> it's just like when I'm at a diner right I get I get breakfast food and I get a coffee. Or if, I, if I'm out to eat at breakfast, it's not to be a diner. Like, if it's going to be like a breakfast place, like an IHOP, I don't consider IHOP a diner. I'll get a coffee at IHOP. Oh, I love IHOP. I love IHOP. It could be three in the afternoon. I'll I get think pancakes getting, and I coffee. I think I'm getting some IHOP tomorrow. Oh. I've been having conversations about IHOP, and for it to come up this much, it's just a sign. Yeah, I drove by it on the way here. I was like, oh, I kind of want some IHOP. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Christian, we can go get IHOP another day. Next question. 